Yeah. What do you want? <sighs> Before you continue, let me save you some time. If you are having a problem with your power or complain about your rates, you need to contact our customer service department. Anything else? Uh, you must be zoned out of your mind, because there's no way anyone sober would say something like that. How the hell did you find that? It was Estelle Vincent, wasn't it? That bitch. I knew I should have kept that somewhere else. Here, take this pass. It should get you through the storage room and you to the facility. I'm warning you though, once you're inside, you're trespassing in a high security zone. That means they shoot on sight. Good luck. You're going to need it. What is this? A job interview? I'm the COO of the company, second to the top. Right under our esteemed CEO, Mr. Harada, also known as Benjamin Bayou. So when you ask me what I do for Jennerdyne, the answer is nothing. The Bayous run the show, and I tread water. The salary helps, of course, but at the end of the day, I'm just a joke. Sitting in an office to make things look legitimate. Keeps them off the Freestar Collective's radar. They might actually step in if they discover that the same person controlling the city's regulations and bylaws benefits financially from them. If you haven't figured it out by now, Benjamin has a stranglehold on the city. You can't take a piss without him charging you after flush. Try and get in his way, and then he uses neon security to beat you senseless, or the Sioga Syndicate to make you disappear. I suppose if I don't explain, a copy of that recording you found might end up on the next SSNN report. Okay. Fair enough. A few years back, the previous CEO of Jennerdyne went missing. As the COO, I was next in line for the job. Instead, Bayou muscled his way into the company and gave me an ultimatum. Either back up his bullshit Mr. Harada identity, or I'm gone. I had no choice. But I decided right then and there, I was going to do whatever I could to take what was rightfully mine. If that meant seducing Bayou to tip him off balance, then so be it. Luckily for me, Mike has been incredibly understanding about the whole thing. More than you can possibly imagine. Micah is the only person in this godforsaken city that's kept me from going completely under. She doesn't want money, doesn't use me for influence or as a stepping stone to get ahead. She loves me for being me, and I love her for being the same. And when this stupid bullshit is over, and Bayou is ten fathoms deep under Neon, We'll be there for each other. Forever. If you had to work with Brayson Bayou, you'd understand. The man is still a totally incompetent fool, and he's running our company into the ground. The worst part of it is that he's Administrator Bayou's brother, so I can't fire him. I can't, I can't even sign him. him. I can't, I can't even yell at him. him. It's like, it's like having, having cut on your body, and you're not healthy watching, watching yourself, yourself bleeding to death. Except, Except in our, our case, case. We're, we're having, having money. money. Remember, remember, we never, we never talked. Got it.
There are a ton of distractions in Neon, so I expect you to be on your best behavior here. Must be a lot of valuable tech disappearing from Genodyne to justify all the scrutiny of their own employees. Extensive facility, but I suppose they need all of this infrastructure to convert the lightning to electricity. Be a lot of valuable tech disappearing from Genodyne to justify all the scrutiny of their own employees. But I suppose they need all of this infrastructure to convert the lightning to electricity.
Please, don't shoot. If you want the encryption cipher, you're, you're welcome to it. There's no need for all this violence. <laughs> Look, there's no need to be angry with me. I I'm on your side. I I'm not trying to trick you. You want the cipher? I it's yours. At this point, I'd do anything to get back at my brother. He deserves everything he's got coming to him. Oh, don't, don't patronize me. I know I'm no prize winner myself, but at least I don't spend my days trying to screw everyone over. You know, I've spent my entire life living in Ben's shadow. Everything always works out for him. While, I, while I've been bouncing from one job to the next, barely keeping afloat. And all the while, he laughs at me behind my back. <laughs> Thinks it's hilarious to make fun of his, his stupid brother. Like I wouldn't eventually find out. Tyrants like your brother eventually fall. It's inevitable. Perhaps you should just give it some time. That wouldn't do any good. For every scheme he's got himself into, he has a bulletproof exit strategy. The man's virtually immortal. Ugh, that's true. He's a slippery man who can worm his way out of any legal situation. You know what? I am sick to death of being pushed around. It's my turn to take control for once. 
The passcode for my terminal is GEM-41A18. That should give you access to the cipher and whatever else you need. I'm getting out of here while I still can. After you're done, I suggest you do the same. Because he's a two-faced son of a bitch, that's why. It's not like I should be surprised. When we were younger, we never got along very well. I mean, he's 11 years older than I am. We had two different mothers. Might as well have been from two separate families. <laughs> Most normal families, sure. But mine was anything but normal. I never knew my actual mother. She was my father's mistress. And I was told she vanished from Neon when I was only two years old. Ben's mother, she didn't give a crap about me. Wouldn't even let me call her mom. I just had to call her Liliana. <laughs> Can you imagine? And then there's Dad. So buried in the day-to-day -day operations of Neon, he didn't have time to pay attention to his bastard son. Oh, I I'm not gonna pretend I had it more difficult than the poorer folks in Neon, but... But emotionally, it tore me to pieces. Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and, and it's nice to get this off my chest, but... Talking about it isn't gonna change a thing. That's why I gave you the encryption cipher. Anything I can do to stick it to Ben, that's the real therapy. Thanks again for the talk. That really helped. Fortunately for them, they rented this, this VIP one for a false, false name. name. I assume that saying same someone one by you with that, that clever little, little virus, virus you installed in the Jedi systems. systems. All, All too well. well. You, know, you know, I should, I should give credit, credit where, where it's due. due. That virus is quite impressive. It will cost me tens of thousands of credits to remove. That's the last time I'll ever take the crimson me to kill it.
Probably. But do you, you want to know why that's, that's not, not going to happen? It's because I don't negotiate with pirates. They don't understand commitments or contracts. How to get the deal done with finesse. No. For your kind, it's only brute force and violence. Shoot first, take whatever you want, and ask questions later. That's not how I do business. It may seem that way, but for every rival I've had thrown into the ocean, I've made two times as many legitimate deals. Look, I'm not here to debate. I'm here to make an offer. All you have to do is tell me who's profiting from the virus you've uploaded. In return, I'll let you leave the city alive. You make my skin crawl, Bayou. Really? That's the story you're going with? Very well. There's a body that Neon Security is going to be discovering very soon. One with concrete evidence that links you to the murder. I'd say you have about one hour to leave this place before you have a price on your head. You'd have someone killed to pin the crime on us? Oh, you're a wretched excuse for a human being, Bayou. So? I assume this concludes our little arrangement, and you'll be leaving our fair city. Oh, when you get back to the Key, be certain to give Neva and Delgado my warmest regard. Glad you're back. Sorry about the whole Benjamin Bayou thing at the Astral Lounge, but I didn't have much of a choice. Can you believe the nerve of that smug son of a bitch? Man is priceless. Well, I was hoping we'd celebrate your return with some drinks and a pile of Aurora. I was about to start partying early when Boone Morgan tipped me off that Bayou was on his way down with some neon security goons. I'm pretty sure I missed him by less than a minute. Left a ton of good stuff behind, damn it. So I've heard. Throwing yourself under the bus like that. Ouch. You are one crazy son of a bitch. Well, 
I'm glad someone's happy. Since Bayou flagged the virus, I can't risk accessing the system now. All that work I did trying to crack Jenardine is gone. Now I'm in a bit of a bind. The prep work for this job put me in deep for a bunch of cash, and I have no way to pay it all back. That's pretty cool of you to offer, but I know what he's gonna say. Sorry, Estelle. This was your scheme. You're on your own. Believe me, he's not gonna be much help. Look, I was hoping you'd pick up on what I was trying to ask. What the hell with it? I'll just ask. Can you cut me in for a little bit of cash you're making on this job? I mean, I did get you inside and practically hand you the data on the grid. She's right, you know. Without her help, you never would have found your way into Genodyne. I appreciate that. I really do. Having each other's back is what makes the fleet stronger, you know? How much uh, are you willing to part with? This is perfect. It will definitely help. Thank you. We appreciate your help, Estelle. All right. I guess we're done here. Tell Delgado if he ever needs me for anything else. I've still got his back. And hey... You won't be hearing Rook from me anymore. As far as I'm concerned, you're one of us now. Lifeblood of the fleet. If anyone tries to tell you otherwise, you send them to talk to me. I hear things are heating up back at the Key, so I might fire up my bird and head over to check things out. Rumor has it that Delgado has some solid info on the Crix's legacy story he's been hawking for the last few years. If there's even a chance that it's true, I want to be there when Shinya Voss starts splitting the loot, if you catch my meaning. Tell Neva she still owes me a drink for our poker game. breaking loose, Rook. Delgado needs you in the repair bay with Jazz as soon as possible. Oh, that's hilarious. You're a real comedian, you know that? Now get your ass to the repair bay. Go! Go! 